Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever uh, fits your time zone best. Welcome to this uh, webinar organized by Harvard Medical School on the worldwide experience on COVID-19 in people living with diabetes. I am Dr. Enrique Caballero. I am an endocrinologist and investigator in the Division of Endocrinology, Diabetes and Hypertension at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, where I am also an associate scientist in the Division of Global Health Equity. And I also have the privilege of being the faculty director for diabetes education in the postgraduate medical education department at Harvard Medical well, School. Uh, so it is my pleasure now to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Professor Anup uh, Misra. Uh, he is the uh, uh, chairman for the Fortis C <coughs> DOC Center for Diabetes, Obesity, Metabolic Diseases, and Endocrinology. He is also the chairman for the National Diabetes, Obesity, and Cholesterol Foundation, and he is the director for uh, Diabetes Foundation uh, in India. Uh, he's currently the chief editor for Diabetes and Metabolic Syndrome Clinical Research and Reviews. So Anup, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, thank you for uh, participating in this activity and please start with your presentation. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, greeting from India. Thanks Enrique for this wonderful opportunity to participate in an uh, excellent conference. Now, my um, job is very simple. Uh, I have eight minutes, I have seven slides. First slide is the introductory slide and in next six slides, I will be asking some questions uh, and mostly related to India and giving you some answers uh, and some of uh, data from our group, our research. Uh, I have nothing to disclose. This is my research team. Uh, they have done much of a work which I'll be showing. Uh, this is the introductory slide. Uh, we have a huge number of patients with diabetes, high prevalence and high numbers. But most importantly, it is uh, this particular figure, 18 million above 65 years. This is the most important figure. And as you can see on the right side, age-wise estimates of diabetes in Southeast Asia, not only India, but surrounding nations. And you can see the tall bars in 50 to 60 and 70 years of age. This is where most of the patients have diabetes. Are. And this is where the COVID strikes as far as uh, mor morbidity and mortality is concerned, high mortality in this age group. We have had slow increase in COVID-19 cases initially, but recently sharp increase has been seen. Uh, interestingly, and fortunate for us, overall mortality remains low at 3% while other nations have shown a high mortality. And interestingly, majority of COVID-19 cases in India are less than 40 years. And you can see here some preliminary data from the government. Uh, the most of the cases are in 20 to 30 and 40 years of age. And I have superimposed this graph over that. And you can see still there is substantial amount, uh, a number of uh, people with diabetes in this age group. But the attack rate is maximal at 50 to 60 years. You can see here, attack rate is maximal and that's where the largest number lie. Now, public health response has been adequate till now. However, the designate, now government has designated certain hospital as COVID hospital, COVID-19 hospitals. Uh, these will admit only COVID-19 patients. They do not have diabetes specialists and diabetes management is a problem there. Now, the question number one is, what are the lifestyle changes in patients with diabetes during lockdown? This is a very small survey. My colleague and myself uh, have done that and published. We are at 71 days of lockdown in India. Uh, a small online survey of uh, 150 people. Uh, there are some bad traits and some good traits. Bad are increased intake of carbohydrate and snacking, decrease in the physical activity, weight gain, and widespread mental stress. But there are some good points too. For example, increase in the fruit intake, major decrease in ordering food from outside. They all, these stall, the, the food uh, establishment all shut. Good availability of medicines and insulin. This is uh, encouraging as far as Delhi is concerned and good knowledge and preference for telemedicine. Now, the problem is that the telemedicine is something which is going to stay and is a viable 
uh, medium through which we can manage patients with diabetes. But would it be suitable for Indian patients? That's my next question. Would teleconsult be suitable for patients for, with diabetes in India? Here are about two publications on telemedicine. Uh, there are a number of problems that we have encountered. We have done approximately 700 teleconsults till now. Uh, technical and bandwidth glitches in around 25% of the people. Inability to access online link in around 30% of the people. Poor quality of picture, patient not focused in the picture frame. Poor perception of sound, especially in patients with hearing deficit and law about patients are elderly. Background noise and disturbance. And Indian families are big. They all join in in the same uh, picture frame and they look something like this. So that is another situation that we have to face as far as telemedicine is concerned. Now, question three is what might happen to glycemia and complication as a result of lockdown? Now, we have done some simulation modeling using a multivariate regression analysis and published this data. What might happen to patients with diabetes and what might happen to individuals not known to have diabetes? Now, as far as diabetes is concerned, predicted Increment in A1C uh, subsequently is going to be high. And this is up to 45 days, and we are at 71 days now. And annual predicted increment in diabetes complications is also going to be high, whether you take microvascular complications or macrovascular complications. So, diabetes patients are going to be worse off. And what might happen to people who don't have diabetes? And uh, now, this paper is under publication. We have projected 7% increase in diabetes risk score. Uh, in, patient, in people who are not known to have diabetes and predominantly because of weight gain. So we will add a, a few uh, million people with diabetes subsequent to this like lockdown. Now, the question in everybody's mind, and there's a lot of debate about it, why overall mortality is low in India? Uh, in UK, higher mortality is seen in nations than other Asians. Now, we have every reason to have high mortality. For example, we have people who have diabetes. Obesity is prevalent at least in metropolitan cities like Delhi. And uh, it has been shown that mortality is significant even at BMI more than 25 with many of our patients have. The high numbers were coronary artery disease. You know, Indians have very high numbers here. And Asian Indians have high underlying subclinical inflammation. Now, mortality in diabetes is linked to elevated HSCRP as been, has been shown recently. So all these are factors for high mortality. Still, we have low mortality. That is not very clear. And further research should include on one particular uh, point, that is role of universal BCG vaccination. India has that policy. And as you can see on the right side, those countries who have a universal BCG vaccination have a lower mortality due to COVID-19 as compared to the other nations. So this point is what considering and some people have discussed muted cytokine storm, repeated exposure to malaria, repeated exposure to viral infection including previous coronaviruses. So would that help in decreasing mortality? Uh, we do not know and these are points worth discussing and researching. Now question five is what would be scenario for diabetes related mortality morbidity and hospitalization in the next 24 months so that's a hypothetical scenario a cartoon here uh, which on the left side gives percentage of deaths and hospitalization and there are two graphs here one graph here is the covid related mortality now this is the uh, this is the first wave which we are uh, we are looking at and the second wave is pro probably going to be in 2021 and then subsequently uh, smaller waves uh, and the second graph is the diabetes related acute care complications and hospitalization and mortality uh, uh, you know following both waves and then subsequently diabetes related chronic care interruption which may increase hospitalization and mortality now what my perception is and according to discussion which we had just now mortality due to COVID-19 may be lower in India than other races so this this peak will be lower and mortality and morbidity due to diabetes related acute care interruption and chronic care interruption will be high because of our baseline status of uncontrolled diabetes uncontrolled blood pressure and uh, uh, number of comorbidities and we'll be adding more new onset diabetes I have shown you 
our mathematical modeling. So which now brings us to the last slide. Are there any solutions to multiple challenges in, in, in diabetes care? In India. I know this, this is the most difficult thing to tackle. I have uh, no firm answers on this, but whatever I have uh, put together is based on the current situation. Large number of patients with diabetes and comorbidities on the left side is the challenges. On the right side, we have to reach with the patient. And you see here our uh, article along with Professor Blumgarten on global call to reconnect with the patient. And strengthen education. This is vastly lacking, and this is the time to strengthen education. Problem in reconnection because of lockdown or fear of hospital. We must emphasize teleconsult, but I think the uh, laptop based teleconsults are not suitable for Indians, and smartphones are preferable or email or short term messaging. Everybody has a smartphone, uh, so that is a good way of, of doing things. Baseline poor glycemic and blood pressure control. We must re-emphasize good control to the patient that this is what will kill as uh, previous uh, the speakers have told. And empower changes in therapy so they can change the therapy sitting at home and they don't have to visit hospital often. As far as inpatients are concerned, designated COVID hospitals and team must include diabetes specialists in the team. We are all seeing problems of keto doses, new onset diabetes and high insulin requirement. We should develop our own locally suitable protocols and do further research on this. And final point is the National Diabetes Control Program. We will have enhanced burden of new cases and complications. And our government, our policy maker must re-strengthen this program. Thanks for giving me this opportunity, Enrique. Thank you all.